Today, a Russian state-run media channel with one of its foreign embassies as source added to building speculation and reports that Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, also known as BRICS nations, will introduce a new trading currency linked to gold shortly. The BRICS group is set to introduce a new currency backed by gold in contrast to the credit-backed U.S. dollar with countries lining up to join the growing initiative. The BRICS countries are planning to introduce a new trading currency which will be backed by gold. More and more countries recently expressed desire to join BRICS. The decision comes a month ahead of scheduled alliance summit in Johannesburg, South Africa. 41 countries have since shown their interest in BRICS membership and its new currency implementation. Russia's foreign ministry has stated that if African states show enthusiasm, the group's expansion may also be on a Russia-Africa summit's agenda in the end of July. As of now, the BRICS group remains comprised of Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa. Former statistician general of South Africa, Pali Lehola, says the gold bank Bank's currency will facilitate the advancement of developing countries. Avoiding using the gold standard, uh, we have gone for almost uh, 40, 45 years now since 1980 when this was dropped. Uh, and we have seen the consequences, particularly of this, uh, to the developing countries uh, when the dollar was uh, adopted as a, as a standard and gold not as such. Yet against that, uh, there's been accumulation of gold. Uh, in the developing world. South Africa had a much stronger currency when the gold standard was still in force. By going the, the gold standard by many countries uh, that many African countries, of course, have, this will be of great benefit uh, to strengthening uh, their, 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 the currency, uh, the single currency that is backed by gold. Uh, it will facilitate uh, development uh, because after all, currency is um, the quantity of material things uh, that societies have. Yet this same week, the BRICS Bank Vice President and Acting CFO Leslie Mazadorp publicly stated on Bloomberg that the group doesn't have any immediate plans to create a common currency. Eight months in a row now, China has added official gold to her reserves adding 21 tons of gold in June 2023, bringing its official sum to now 2,113 metric tons of official gold bullion for the nation. Of course, China also holds a lot of unofficially not yet reported gold bullion reserves with its military and state-run banks and sovereign wealth fund. Throughout this 21st century, and especially since the 2008 global financial crisis, physical gold bullion exports have increasingly gone east to major developing economies like those of India and China, key leading nations in the BRICS. As well, Russia, Turkey, and other nations BRICS aligned are major players in the modern physical gold world. So it makes sense that the BRICS may want to have a major settlement currency unit to help in developing a more multipolar world order ahead. Best-selling author Jim Rickards has been perhaps the most vocal BRICS going to gold shot caller in the world over the last few months. And here he is, speaking recently on London Real, regarding the coming late August summit for the BRICS. They've been working on this since 2006, and they created the New Development Bank, the NDB. Well, it's an exact clone of the World Bank, except it's controlled by the BRICS. Then they created something called the Contingency Reserve, asset, which is an exact clone of the IMF. It's a swing lender. So uh, running a, a, a balance of payments deficit, you got to run on the bank, your currency's under attack. They can give you billions of dollars in loans to until you can make some policy changes and kind of prop it up. But that's why, that's why the IMF was invented. And that's what this is. So they've cloned the World Bank. They've cloned the IMF. They've got all these committees. They've been meeting for 17 years at this point. Uh, and now they're ready to unveil Again, this will be the biggest shock in the international monetary system since 1971, when Richard Nixon suspended redemptions of dollars for gold among our trading partners. That was the shock, of course. Um, but that's the kind of magnitude we're looking at. What the BRICS are going to do, they're going to unveil a new currency. Now, I've always poured cold water on the, you know, the, China, the Chinese yuan is going to be the reserve currency and the Russian ruble is going to be. I've always poured cold water on that. I'm, I've Absolutely not. That's not going to happen. But a new currency, you're starting with a clean slate. And 
there's something else going on, which is just at the beginning of June, June 2nd and 3rd, there was another BRICS meeting. This was in uh, Cape Town, again, South Africa, they're the host. These were the foreign ministers. So Sergei Lavrov was there and, and the other uh, the other foreign ministers of the BRICS. And what they were doing was looking at the wait list. So BRICS, five countries, but they have a 17 country wait list, including six other countries that have applied for membership. They said, let us in. And um, so 23 in total, six have applied and 17 have expressed interest. Um, well, who's in that group? Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Argentina, Iran. These are important countries, you know, like them or hate them, but they're, they're, they're big economies. Collectively, we're looking at um, more than 50% of global GDP, uh, about 40% of global population. Um, I think about 40% of the global land, mat, land mass, because, you know, you got Russia and China in there, two of the five biggest countries in the world. Um, two of the three biggest nuclear powers, including the biggest nuclear power, which is Russia. Throw Saudi Arabia in the mix, you got two of the three biggest energy producers, Saudi Arabia and Russia, et cetera. Um, and the Indian, the Indian population is surpassing the Chinese population as we speak, 1.4 billion. So, um, this is not some, you know, rinky dink group of uh, the third world countries or whatever. This is half the world or more in terms of population, resources, military capacity, uh, land mass, um, and, and wealth and, uh, and output. So, but if you expand the list to all the other countries I described, so the, the, now they're calling it BRICS plus, but this could be by the end of August, uh, they admit these other members, it could be 11 countries and again on its way to 20 or more. They're going to unveil a new currency. I don't know what's called. I call it the BRIC, BRICS as a working title, but you know, maybe they'll take Bancor, which is what John Maynard Keynes did in 1944. Whatever they call it, it doesn't matter. It's a new currency, but, um, this will start to look like the European monetary zone. This will start to look like the euro. So, you know, Germany, France, and Italy, they're all different countries and they have different bond marks, but they have the same currency. So when you expand the group, the odds that that becomes a very successful, very liquid payment currency go way up because no one's depending on China or Russia and you're depending on this infrastructure and it could be managed by this new development bank I talked about. Um, and the other key thing, and this is the key to the whole thing, Brian, it's going to be linked to gold. Now, mm. this is not a strict gold standard. I don't want to overstate it. I don't want to say if you had a brick, you can march into People's Bank of China and demand gold. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying the value linked to gold, the whole idea is to get out from under the dollar. And I go back 10, 12 years. I used to warn, you know, I was being in skiffs in the, in the, uh, in the Pentagon and the, and, uh, meet private meetings with the Treasury. And I warned them all. I said, sanctions work. The dollar's powerful. I get it. You're using it against Iran. But you're overusing it, you're overapplying it, and you are going to, at some point, people are going to get out of the dollar system. It's like, how many times can you hit the punching bag before the punching bag walks away? So this is in the air. Who doesn't know about it? The Fed, ECB, Bank of England, um, you know, the G7 finance ministers, they don't see this coming. And that's going to be very detrimental to them. Correct. Because... Um, if I'm Russia or China and I have BRICS currency through the trade channels and it's linked to gold, do I want the price of gold to go up or down? I want it to go up because that makes me richer. But, but the price of gold, to the extent it's denominated in dollars, if they're strengthening or raising the price of gold, what's happening to the dollar? It's going, it's going down. It was an increase in the dollar price of gold. It's not really a change in the price of gold. It's a, it's a devaluation of the dollar. It's not about gold, it's about the dollar. So that's going to be extremely inflationary. Wow. And this thing could feed on itself very quickly.